What's up people, welcome back to my channel. It's a bit of a different one today. I'm doing a styling video and discussing the topic, how to make your curly hair thicker. I'm not at home at the minute, so we're just gonna make do with the tools that I've got, which is literally tail comb and this wide tooth comb, which I absolutely hate because I love using my Tangle Teaser brush to style with, but hey ho we will make do with just a finger styling. So a question I've got recently, and it's popped up quite a bit, is how do I make my hair thicker? Now, this question is a bit of a tricky one because there is no actual way that you can make your hair thicker. There are things that you can do to make your hair appear thicker. However, thickness is down to genetics and it is down to the amount of hairs that you have your head on your head so that cannot change so in today's video we'll get into a little bit about you know how to make your hair appear thicker and what you can do just to make it look fuller and overall healthier which in turn will make it look thicker anyway the products that i'm going to be using today are I'm actually not sure what I'm going to use. I've got the Honey Hydrate and I've got this Matrix new product, which I've not tried before. I did use a shampoo and conditioner just now on my hair. It's made my hair really nice and soft. I think I'm going to stick to the Honey Hydrate. What do we mean by thickness? So when we say thickness, it literally means how dense the hair is. And that refers to whether it's thin, whether you have medium or like a lot of hair follicles on the head. If you have thin hair, you can usually see your scalp pretty easily when you, you know, when you have normal styles or even just like this, without a parting, you'll probably be able to see the hair a little bit if your hair's thin. My hair is thick, it is dense. So I do have high density hair, which means that I have thick hair and you cannot see my scalp unless I part my hair. So that's what we refer to when we're talking about thickness. As I mentioned before, thickness is down to genetics. You can't change this unless you maybe go and have a hair transplant or you maybe just change the appearance of your hair. Maybe it is unhealthy and you make it healthier. That will make it thicker and look a little bit more fuller. But generally, we cannot change the density of our hair or the amount of hair follicles in our head. The gel I'm going to be using today is actually the gel that I created. Um, so I am sampling this at the minute just to see how it goes. It is like a little custard kind of um, gel and it has a medium hold, so it's nice, but I haven't tried it with this Honey Hydrate, so we're going to see how that goes. There are three things you can do in order to change the thickness of your hair. The first thing that you can do is you can make sure your hair is in like the best condition possible. If your hair is damaged, if it is weak and if it is brittle, it's going to naturally appear thinner. Okay, the curls probably won't spring back as well and your curls will probably look stringy and the hair generally won't look as thick as someone with healthy hair. So the first thing you need to do in order to make your hair appear thicker is make sure it is healthy. Make sure you are doing your deep conditioners, make sure you are doing your protein treatments if that is something that you do, but generally those are the things we want to do to keep our hair healthy and keep it moisturised. The second thing that you can do to make your hair appear thicker is you can alter the products that you use. So if you are someone who maybe has lower density hair, you are gonna need to avoid using heavier products on your hair. So things like creams, butters, heavy gels, or really, really strong holding gels that are going to reduce the amount of volume that you get on your hair. The reason for this is that heavier products are going to weigh your curls down and if that is not something that you want, if you want your hair to appear a lot thicker and fuller, you're not going to want your hair to be weighed down by product. So avoid oily products and avoid heavy products. 
as well as that it is all about the product distribution and how you apply your products and the techniques that you use to apply these products so like i'm doing today you do not want to work in small sections if you're someone who has thin hair or fine hair you are going to want to work in a lot bigger sections you are also going to want to apply less product to the sections of your hair as well because the more product you apply the more definition you're going to have which in turn makes the hair appear a lot thinner than it maybe would if you applied little if you applied less product and in bigger sections as well as this on the topic of styling you're going to want to avoid styles that reduce the amount of curls that are on your head so things like twist outs braid outs anything that really makes your hair looser and reduces the amount of curls on the head that's going to make your hair look a little bit thinner than out than what it already is the third thing that you can do to make your hair appear thicker is you can actually use supplements so i am not entirely entirely sure on the statistics and the facts about this one I can only go from my experience because back in 2012, around 2012, 2013, um, I was growing my hair. I've just recently gone natural and I wanted to grow my hair from about shoulder length to armpit length. And what I did was I decided to take hair affinity. The hair affinity tablets, although they didn't necessarily make my hair grow longer, what they did do is they did make my hair a lot fuller and I did notice that my hair felt a lot fuller when I was taking these supplements so I will say although they didn't grow my hair or make my hair thicker it did make my hair appear a lot fuller than it was before if you're somebody who maybe lacks a bit of vitamins and minerals from your diet or maybe you're vegetarian or you're vegan and maybe you don't get too much protein i would definitely recommend you use supplements and the last step of my routine my hair's all done i'm going to apply the k18 molecular repair oil just to the end and that is all done hair's looking nice and defined Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments any tips that you have for thickening up your hair and I will see you in the next one.